everybody. I'm just going to start off this video by saying I got diagnosed with uh, cancer about two weeks ago. Um, I was having complications with like breathing and coughing all the time, had this chronic cough, and it was just a number of things. And I had to get my lung drained. And I had to get emergency surgery. I had to get my, I had fluid around my heart. They found a tumor in front of my heart, which turned out to be the cancer. Then I had to get my, the rest of my lung drained. All in one. So three procedures, all in one, and I have the scars to prove it. They tested that, the tumor, they did a biopsy from that emergency surgery, and then um, that's how I got diagnosed with my cancer. Now, what I have is primary mediastinal large B-cell non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and it's a rare cancer that only affects young women between the ages of 18 and 35-ish. I'm 24 and it only affects young healthy women. So I'm healthy, I don't smoke, I don't drink. Now when I was told that I got diagnosed, it was a day after surgery and I had a chest tube and I was on morphine so. We're in the hospital. This is day two after my surgery. Look at all the stuff the people brought me. I'm on four mLs of morphine. Right now, I got a chest tube in my side because everything is draining out. I'm just ready for this whole ordeal to be over, waiting for my biopsy test. I hope it's all good news, but I'm gonna keep the faith in God. I'm so tired. I'll look back on this video. Today is August 17th, 2016. Bye. At that I was just like I'm glad they figured out what it is because my symptoms were horrible before I got admitted to the hospital and I have stage four but with my type of cancer it's the same thing as stage two it did spread in my lungs and I think somewhere in my throat I'm not sure my oncologist um, he said that's 90% treatable rate and I have six months of treatment so I have to stay inside the hospital and it's a 24 hour um, chemo drip and uh, I've already finished one round of chemo yeah! and honestly I think you know I went through it like a champ. Yeah, it looks like a pro. Well, I'm not. Yeah, we went again. We were like, wait a minute. We didn't even listen. Yeah, we're all the same. She gets the warning. She got tired of sitting. Yeah. So this is the first time I got up to walk today. This is August 20th. 21st. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> August 20th. You see I got my chemotherapy. 21st. 21st. Oh, August 21st, 2016. Uh, August 21st. This is my chemotherapy right here hooked up to my arm. No, you're not getting it. You're getting me. Uh, my chemo. Therapy. Yeah, <laughs> and I got the little chest tube still here hooked up to me, and I got my nurse here helping hey. me walk. Mom and dad. Aww. And oh, you in there? I don't yeah. know. I'm trying. <laughs> and I'm just looking out at the view. You Looks probably like can't see it. it, but um, yeah, I'm feeling better today. Hoping to get the chest tube out 
and hopefully I'll do some more walking. Mm -hmm. So, all right, August 21st, 2016. Mm -hmm. What I've noticed so far after my first round of chemo, I know that they say I'm gonna lose my hair. I didn't know when, but I think now it's starting. Like a couple, yeah, like about a couple days ago, I noticed like I woke up and I lost some hair right here. And then, like, you know, I notice, you know, every time when I put my hands through my hair, uh, some hair will come out. And I'm like, no, this is not shedding. This is from the chemo. And I think it's starting. I've already come to terms with myself losing hair. But when it's actually happening, you feel some type of way. And this is what came out last night. I'm not even joking. Like, I just kept putting my fingers through my hair and I couldn't believe how much hair was just coming out and so this is how much came out already so I'm trying to hang on to my hair for dear life for as long as possible God will be with me he got me this far and I am so far doing well I just wanted to give an intro I'm um, sorry if it's all over the place but I'm gonna try to do my best to vlog and to probably help others I'm always on YouTube looking up stuff because it helps me out. So hopefully I can help others. I'm going to do my best to vlog as much as I can. So stay tuned, everybody. Bye.